so we have this bright brilliant girl and uh, we're going to do some job work for her right smile so she has if you see braces done so we're doing a pre-surgical orthodontics for her to improve the curve of speed and now uh, we're going to bring the lower jaw forward can you bring it forward yeah we're going to do that so once we do this what's going to happen is it's going to be a bilateral sagittal split osteotomy so the osteotomy is going to be here we'll slide it forward show me and fix it like this we're making our models we're doing our wafer also she's desirous of removing uh, this tiny cleft or rather the depression we want to make it more pointy so i'll do a very minimal genioplasty also and now come i want you to tell me how much of chin you want to have occlusion i'll show you that's easy chin you tell me how much you want by moving your jaw and everything that's it you so bring it forward you close your mouth this much it will come when you do the lower jaw now i'll just make it like this or you want me to increase his height a little bit or you only want me to correct this depression otherwise you don't want me to do any major thing on the bone make any cuts or anything right mm, uh, like uh, there is no cleft in the bone right so it is only a muscular it will be uh, on the grooving on the bone There's, if you feel like this you can see right the bone also uh, will be like this a little depression will be there mm. so if i contour the bone and then adapt the muscle on top it will be better okay. so little bit work has to be done without I have an photo, like you have done that hmm Yeah, Correct. Like osteotomy. Oh. Like means means yeah yeah. Okay. Because what happens when you only remove the dimple? Also, there's some loose skin, so you want to tighten it. So we have to do a little bit. Like Small thing. Your proportions thing. are okay, right? Like your proportions are good, so we don't need to do it by more than two or three mm. Okay. Two or three mm is nothing, but still it will change the contour of the chin. Uh, without cutting the bone, like uh, will we be able to remove the? um may not be able to get that kind of improvement what you're showing me okay. little bit is possible but the chin might look little bit more broad just see like this now ah broad i think so want to make it like this i'll do little bit work on the bone also see that okay very minimal work minimal work on the bone i can do it it's not anything risky or nothing we are anyway doing a bilateral sagittal split osteotomy which is like more difficult and more major and it's the same surgery or healing is going to be the same and you are a very <laughs> educated concerned uh -huh. person because you know you even want that small thing to be done so we can do it <clears throat> all right because chin i want you to tell me the correct feedback because i should not do something what i like and then you say doctor looks extra or something so i got your point that thing i got it i'll do a little minimal thing make it little bit more pointy and get that depression off so i'll suit your face nicely done there won't be any horizontal or vertical projection right so horizontal will happen because of genioplasty uh, because of sag yeah that one will happen but for the chin area i'll not do anything uh, you bring it forward and show me now ha huh, see that see already little bit like this will be good only little bit will be good because you have a big forehead see the forehead upper third middle third see inside upper third middle third lower third is short bring it forward little bit more but still there is a, a space for 2 3 more millimeters for the chin nothing it will not look bad yes minimal will look good only not going to look bad and that's necessary for me to be able to contour the chin and to remove that cleft thing otherwise what will happen it will become broad and very stubby muscle only if i work and there is a little bit grooving on the bone you can feel it yes. very subtle it is there it's not that it's only some soft tissue all right so we'll plan for you in the evening i told you right 6 o'clock 6 o'clock 5:30 maybe a little early if possible but around that time no we are here but she has that had a that's why no we'll give her some uh, drip now so she doesn't feel that hungry everything they will do now let us everything they'll do can i know the exact measurement like how much advancement you want to do 
on the genio genioplasty genioplasty by uh, bsso so bsso we are not going to do it's not calculated for you on the measurement but bite okay. so bring your bite forward that is what we are going to do okay. how much our millimeter that much i will do okay. for genioplasty okay. because this is Here there will be less space like that, but between the teeth there will be little gap because your pre-surgical orthodontics has not been totally complete. So that will be completed with your post-surgical orthodontics. I might sometimes remove some of these brackets during surgery. If I remove, we'll put another one. Don't worry about that because that comes in the way of my surgery. No, 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 nothing else. You feel what? Which tooth? No, that is because of the braces and your caries. We're not going to do anything. We're all going to be doing cuts here and nothing. Uh -huh. to, no, no connection with that. Only the teeth roots of these teeth will be closed when you do the genioplasty. Again, no connection. Would there be any stitches here, sir? Would there be any no, 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 no stitches outside on the face. Uh -huh. Nothing will be there anywhere. All will be from inside the, the mouth. Dissolvable. dissolvable also. So you can go after four or five days. Done? And uh, the genioplasty, how much advancement for? Uh... 3 mm, that's what I'm discussing now. Genioplasty for you, I would think a minimal is required. 3 4 mm, because then only we can contour it and remove that clefting. With that intention, I got you to the mirror to talk to you. So we'll do that. Done? Your face is not going to change a lot. It's going to improve just a subtle bit because we're going to do subtle osteotomies. Hello? Huh. Okay, one minute be online. Right. So, even the IV line port, you can see the IV line port. You can see the IV Remove all the jewelry and all. And IV line port. Okay. Sorry. Now, you can see the IV line port. You can see the IV line port. Yeah, we have written this for you. Correct. Everything we have written. Sorry. We have done beautiful. Okay. See you. And uh, she has to be here, right? In the hospital? Of course. Yeah. We will just take her up now. Uh, Change her dress, remove everything, prepare her. Okay. Now I am staying outside in a hotel. So would I be allowed to stay here? Tomorrow. Today let us stay alone. Oh, uh, yeah. Tomorrow. Okay. Because today she will be in the ICU. Tomorrow we will give you a room. Oh. Yeah? start this jaw surgery we planned a bilateral sagittal split osteotomy with a genioplasty anyways that means that we're getting the lower jaw forwards little bit downwards mainly forwards we're correcting the bite and we're also improving the chin we're going to show you how the bite is currently so we're going to do that with the help of a cheek retractor so we'll be able to appreciate the bite of this patient So the patient has what is called as a deep bite, you can see this, so that's how much the bite is now. So you've seen that this patient has already undergone braces treatment or orthodontics that was pre-surgical orthodontics. Now we're going to do surgery and then this will be followed by post-surgical orthodontics. We're going to show you how the bite would be eventually. This is a look now, side view. And this is going to change after surgery. Related thing. Move that much. Both are the same thing. So you know, it should settle down. Maybe you'll have to wait for a few weeks for the thing to totally settle down. Uh -huh. But generally, the swelling all takes a few, maybe about, it happens very, very rarely, first of all. And uh, it's never lingered to my memory more than six months, probably in a couple of months or even earlier it should settle down. So, 
Is there any other patient who had this problem and uh, did they recover from that? Yeah, yeah, everybody will recover. Nobody has not recovered so far. Uh, what she meant to say, right? Anyone had similar kind of issues? And That's what I'm saying. Um, not in the recent, maybe, uh, how can I say? When did I last? Maybe in the last year. Every one in 200 patients or 250 patients sometimes can have some small nerve things. Uh, that settled down usually. It's not going to be anything alarming. So it will be fine. It's totally reversible, right? Automatically. Nothing needs to be done. Nothing can be done. Because it's a small nerve. Shouldn't do anything. And the nerve is not cut. Okay. The nerve is not cut because the nerve comes from here. What happens when you split the mandible and when you move it, the nerve gets pulled. Okay. Or gets, that's the reason it happens. Otherwise, I mean, your dog, mom also will know. It's just not. She got a little scary. See, she had a widow call and she was not able to kind of uh, close her eyelid and then uh, yeah. she was getting very. She was thinking that probably facial uh, plastic or something. But nothing is because the nerve is here, right? It comes from here. Uh -huh. So that's where it has got pulled or stretched or something like that because of the osteotomy. For that reason only, I took her scan. Uh -huh. Even before you asked me. We took a scan to check if the split was correct and perfect. It was. So first only I took the scan to just check because I was also uh, not sure on the table. There was some bleeding and it took a little bit longer than it normally takes. So just to be on the safer side, just to be really sure, I took the scan immediately. All the cuts and all the things, everything was perfect. It will be cured with just dexamethasone. is not for that. It's just to reduce the swelling. So swelling is more it just um, yeah well, just uh, aggravates that. How do you settle down? How do you treat? Many people you can check on the Google. They will say how it automatically recovers many 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 days. Okay. So, I think if this even happens sometimes when they remove teeth, yeah. give injection, then it happens it's because then injection goes there. So it takes some time. It should, it should just recover on its own without anything, without no any intervention. She need to do any exercise? Nothing. Just chill. Don't do anything. Alright? Should I close my eyes with some kind of day for something? No. No, it's closing almost. Why you have to close? Like, uh, if some kind of dirt were to close or something goes. Through. Nothing alert. Okay. It's fine, it's not that bad, it's moving. It's just that it's a little bit slow to react. It's a, this is called paresis, not paralysis. Paralysis means when the nerve is cut and doesn't move. Paresis is when it's stretched or pulled or some small thing has happened. It's paresis. Paresis is always... Yeah, paralysis is no. That's the difference. You have to wait. So. Hello everyone, we are here at Richardson's Hospital. It's post a week, this young girl is going back home and she has been um, an old patient. By old patient, not necessarily a surgical patient, but she has been an orthodontic patient of ours, an old one, who has been following with the pre-surgical orthodontics. Her problem was of a very small lower jaw, both skeletally as well as dentally. The dental discrepancies were corrected because of the ortho treatment was done. The swelling is less for you. The, face, the shape of your face has changed. Hmm? So where is the jaw sculpting done? Is it done here or just on the chin? Jaw sculpting is done chin, but what has happened is your occlusion has changed. Always remember, our, your, your anatomy also has been changed in, changed in the sense, remember how your bite was before? It, you had a very short and small chin, chin and lower jaw. So the, your bite was say almost like this. This happens to be your upper jaw, this happens to be your lower jaw. There's a gap of almost um, something called as an underbite you had. You had an excess of overjet and that was not the fault of your upper jaw. It was the fault of your lower jaw, okay? So when you used to bite, like you bite now and keep your lips a little bit loose, so when you used to bite at that point in time, yes, so your, her bite, she had a receded mandible or something called as a class 3 malocclusion. 
so her bite was malaligned and for that she was undergoing an orthodontic treatment her bite happened to be one which could be said as a skeletal class 2 but that was because of a retrognathic mandible and not a prognathic maxilla so retrognathic mandible and a very small chin so we can see in the pictures and i say even you can hold the mirror even in fact your father can come because he has been constant come sir he's been constantly coming with her his daughter for the for past so many months because of the orthodontic treatment and finally they're done with the surgery her main issue was a bite problem and also the lower jaw if you see her lower third of the face was never symmetrical she had a very small chin we can see from the side view as well sahani side view Yes, if you can hear yourself have a look as to how your chin was placed, how the lower third, it looks small and stubby. Now this is her, how her lower third looks. Her face looks more angular, but that's just, um, just one of the results of getting a bilateral sagittal split done. The main function, I mean aim was to get the functionality restored. Keep your lips a little loose so that we can show your bite. Yes, bite once. The braces are still on and that's because pre-surgical orthodontics has been done for her. There is, there still exists a little bit of discrepancy that will be sorted with the post-surgical phase. There are changes in all the profiles. I say if you turn on one side, yeah, you can see yourself in the mirror and you can also appreciate your pre-operative view. Right? You can see the other views. Yeah. Yes, the good thing is it's a little almost a week or a little more than a week and swelling is considerably less for you, both the sides. You've healed well, intraorally everything looks good, your bite is restored. You have to wait for some more time for little discrepancies that needs to be corrected orthodontically, okay, before the braces are off, right? Be in touch, send in your pictures, take your medicines on time and we'll follow you up, right? Okay. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> uh, this, because our orthodontist has still not been able to do exactly what was expected out of him, we're still going at the surgery, which means that you'll have to continue your post-surgical orthodontics.